Do I have it? I have the popcorn. All right, let me lean back a little bit. And just like, can he take that from me? Yeah, we did it. He has his popcorn. And he's so happy. He looked so sad before, but now he's happy. I'm glad we could help him out. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal, Impossible. I'm here. We're back in RoboCo. You see, last episode, we did, uh, well, we kind of finished off Sandwich Server. I showed you guys how things would go. And then we kind of tackled wood chips, and we did one of the special tasks. So now we're up to Robo Coffee. So let's see what that is all about. Deliver coffee upstairs without spilling. Going upstairs sounds difficult with a robot. I'm not going to lie. We're going to see what we can see and do what we can do. All right, we got people talking over coffee at Roboco staff room, apparently. Art exhibition, I, bleh, <laughs> art exhibition is upstairs. It says exhibit, but for some reason I wanted to say exhibition and then, you know, butcher it horribly. All right, so uh, let's just make a basic thing off the bat. Let's get something out there and just kind of like explore a little bit, kind of figure out what it is that we're messing with. And uh, being we're in a crowded area here, I'm going to try to make this kind of small. As small as we can manage without, like, you know, getting into trouble. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, we can build it up a little bit. I think it being tall isn't a big deal. Just as long as it's not, uh, you know, too wide or too long or whatever. Uh, let's go into constructs. We'll put, let's put it... Let's start with wheels. And we might, we might do silly other things. We're going to start with here. Uh, left wheel... We'll get, oh, we might, we might, we might need to go a little bigger than uh, as big as we are right now. Let's uh, let's expand at least a little bit. Um, let me see here. I want this one. We'll make it a little bit longer, at least long enough to have, you know, a couple sets of wheels. You know, we we at least need four wheels. It seems important to me. Um, I meant for you to go up one. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the other wheel on here. We need right hand wheels. Like so. There we go. And uh, I think for right now, this is basically what we need. We have It's telling us we have cosmetic stuff. We got a star. So we got, oh, we got a police hat. Is that because we did the star thing last time? What am, well, how am I? All right, hold on. Now we definitely had to put a head on here. Let's go to constructs, uh, head. Uh, oh, we got the policeman right here. But this already comes with a head. Like, I mean, this already comes with the cop hat, so that doesn't seem very, you know, fun. Let's see. Let's, let's do a regular one that doesn't have a head. Chewy. This guy looks kind of cool. He looks like he chomp on things. I want to chomp on things. We'll give him a police head. Yeah, there we go. Put a little cosmetic thing on this guy. Uh, where's the cosmetic stuff at? It's probably under regular blocks. Cosmetic. There we go. Um. Cosmetic. Where did police hat go? Yeah, put a police hat on Chewy. There we go. He, he looks like a really angry, angry sergeant guy. I like that a lot, actually. All right, let's just run around and see what's going on. Because uh, I, oh, look, his 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 mouth moves as we move. I like that a lot. That thing's cute. I like that a lot. All right, let's see what we can find. We probably got some you know things that we can uh, like secret objectives and stuff like we did last time. So let's look around for a couple of those. I'm just trying to see if I see notes like anywhere. I definitely. Ooh, did he spill his coffee at me? I didn't. I didn't knock into him, did I? All right. So one thing I know is hopefully we can move these because it looks like it might be a little hard to maneuver. Otherwise, this thing moves kind of fast sometimes. If you if you hold down shift, it'll let you move a little slower. Okay, we we can move it to just like doing that. That seemed pretty simple. All right. Do I see any? Any notes anywhere? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, oh, there's one over here. Well, that's slippery in there. Look, look how far we slide. Like, a let go. Letting go. Yeah, we still slide for a moment afterwards. So it's super slippery. All right, let's see what this says over here. Uh, clean up the coffee spills. How many coffee spills are there? Two, at least? So let's get a vacuum on this thing. Let's see how that even works. I haven't used a vacuum yet. That should, that should be fun. There's another note right here. What's this say over here? Get the stuck stuck popcorn to the human without breaking the glass. Is this stuck in here? Is there popcorn stuck in here? He looks sad. All right, so maybe he's sad because his popcorn's stuck in there. I don't. 
Hmm? If I ram it, does it help? I'm ramming it. It says I can't break the glass. I thought maybe if I just rammed it a few times, it would work. Ram it harder? Ramming it's not working. I'm not quite... Maybe I have to grab it and pull it and stuff? I'm going to have an arm to, like, deliver coffee and stuff, so I imagine maybe I can... I can flip myself backwards. I imagine maybe I can kind of, like, beat on this a little bit and hopefully not break the glass. Let's start by making a vacuum thingy, because I've never done vacuum thingies in this game. That seems like... I, I absolutely love this face. I love him with his little police hat. It just looks... It looks like a stereotypical... Like, fat, angry police cop guy. <laughs> you know, you see on TV and stuff. Uh, you know, it's just I, something about it I really like. It tickles me in the right way. Uh, let me see. We need some kind of uh, effector of some sort. The vacuum thingy. There we go. Can we just, like, show, shove the vacuum right on the front here? Does that work? Like, if I put that there, will it vacuum? Let's let's go to the uh, controls. Go to our right-hand control. And just, yeah, just use the... Uh, yeah, use the vacuum. That's fine. We'll, we'll do it like that. All right, let's get out of here. Go back to there. All right, so I hit U. Yeah, let's just see if that works. I think having it set to toggle on would have been nice. I'll change that in a moment, but let's just see. Oh my god, this thing. I'm going to hold down shift when we do these small maneuvers because it really whips around. All right, let's, let's hit U. That works fine. Yeah, it's all gone. Oh, we can actually fit under the under the tape. That's kind of funny. Oh, I broke something. Don't break. Oh, I broke the costume tape. That's all right. We're not we're not going for complete this run. I'm just testing out how all this stuff works. Well, that's nice. I don't have to uh, like maneuver that vacuum or anything. I just have to be near it. So that's good. So we know we can do that. Uh, I think I'm also going to use my arm to try to you know bounce that around and maybe we can get it to this guy. And I think that'll be most of the stuff we need to do everything here. Uh, let's go look upstairs real quick, because we know we have to deliver coffee up there, right? So, let's explore right up that way. Oh, this thing's so agile. All right, let's go up here. Did a little jump there. We can almost go under this thing. Uh, can we move this tape out the way? Maybe we'll have to use our robo arm to do this whenever we, we get that going. I get the feeling being rough with it the way I am now is probably a bad idea. It'll probably break. Maybe not. I don't know. To try to be a little more gentler. Um, we got it mostly out the way. We are going to be taller when we have a robo arm, so we won't be able to go under this like I've been doing. So I kind of just want to move, be able to move these things out the way. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. That's okay. And we have to move this one over here as well. Because we can't knock into things and we lose points. Oh, there's a thing up there. What is that up there? I feel like maybe we should get that up there. I mean, there's a wrench. Do we have to... Get, maybe we have to get the wrench to somebody. Do we, let me knock that over. We got the wrench. I can't do anything with it, but I get the feeling like we have to give that to, like, a construction worker or something. Maybe, you know what? The, the guy over here, actually, if I remember correctly, is a construction worker. Yeah, maybe he wants his tools. Maybe we're going to knock out a whole bunch of these little secret things. I don't know. We have to get a coffee to this guy. He's the, uh, you know, get a coffee to the construction worker upstairs goal guy. So I, I think that's totally doable. Do we have to get him tools? I've, there's got to be a note that tells us what exactly we have to do. Here's a note. What's this one say? Let me go slow so I stop spinning around here. Uh, bring the cupcake to the human downstairs. Also, there's a cupcake right here. All right, I think we're going to be able to do most of these things. I still don't see this, what I'm supposed to... I, I feel like that tool is important. We're going to have to do something with these tools. And we got, we got to find who we're supposed to give it to. So we have two tasks we know we can do. I think the cupcake will be easy. If we can deliver coffee, we'll be able to deliver cupcakes. I'm pretty sure that's, you know... Oh, oh, here's the one right here. Let's see what this note says. Hello, Mr. Note. Uh, bring coffee to the human in the security room. That guy over there? How do we get in there? Hold on. Let me let me see what I can see here. Maybe we have to use the wrench to get in there or something. How do we open this? It looks like a door. Is there another way in there? There's a guy just hanging out there. Do I see any more notes anywhere? 
I'm not seeing any notes. I'm kind of wondering if they have notes hidden behind the curtains. I, I feel like it's a possibility, but let's let's save that for a little bit. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see if we can go this way. Can we go through these doors? We can. All right. What do we got here? I don't see any. Oh, I don't think we can go up these. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Um, I don't think there's like bigger wheels or anything, so I don't know how we'd get up there. I would have to do some kind of weird stuff. Uh, so maybe like an arm that would like flip me upwards or something. I really don't know. That might be out of our uh, out of bounds at least for a little while. We can maybe play with that a little bit later. But for now, I think we have a lot of stuff that we know we have to do. I wish I could find what we had to do with those that wrench. I really feel like that's a thing, but I'm not seeing anything telling me to do anything with it. And I'm not seeing any other special things here. What's this one say? Uh, get the stuck popcorn. Oh, yeah, we already read that one. All right, so we have most of the things we know we have to do. Let's go ahead and uh, go back here and get our grabby arm thing of some sort working. We know we're going to need that, so let's go ahead and get that going. And I am pretty sure I'm going to end up moving this head at least a little bit somewhere. So let's just go ahead and move that for now. Uh, let's start at the base. We're going to want a uh, arm that can go up and down, I assume, of some sort. You know, we, just basic functionality there. Uh, let's see. Powered, maybe? Servo motor. I'm going to... Yeah, piston. Piston's what I'm really looking for here. All right, let's go ahead and make that and make it a little bit longer here. Something along the lines of that. And I think the pistons need rods. I, I can't, I'm can't. i not remembering right now. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out at some point. And uh, let me see here. Actually, you know, let me check that out real quick before I, before I, before I uh, start building a little bit more. Uh, we'll add a uh, move here. Small piston. Move out. There we go. Uh, it will be I. And uh, I guess K would be small piston move in. There we go. All right, let's give that a try real quick. I, K, okay, we do need a, uh, a, a thing because that's not working at all. Nothing's happening when I'm hitting buttons there. So let's put a rod in there. I was pretty sure you needed a rod, but I wasn't like, you know, a thousand percent sure. But now I'm pretty sure. Let's go to structural maybe. There we go. We got the rod. You want to you wanna go in there? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go in here somewhere, aren't you? Do you need to rotate? Why did, hold on. Why is this thing not working? I think I just deleted something on accident. I don't even know what. It needs to rod down here. I thought it would need a rod up here. I'm very confused. But apparently it don't want no rod. At least not that I'm trying. None of the ones I'm trying to give it there. It doesn't want to go there. I don't know. We'll, we'll try that real quick. Yeah, that does nothing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a bad move. Let's get rid of that thing. Uh, maybe it just wants a block? I could swear these things needed rods, so I'm very confused about that. Let's just not worry about it for now. Uh, we're going to want the top stuff to be light. Yeah, let's go with a, a light block here. Put you on there. And uh, we're going to want this to come out... Well, essentially, we're going to want it to come out like this. Actually, I think we're going to want this to be a piston. Now that I think about it, let's... We're also going to need rotation of some sort. All right, hold on. Let me, let me keep... All right, we're going to need a servo of some sort, uh, which would be under powered, probably. Piston, pointer, servo motor. Yeah, that, that works. Servo motor goes there. And I think this also needs a uh, a rod. This one takes a rod. I still don't know why the engine doesn't go back up. I mean, the, this piston here isn't going up and down for me. But it's definitely not. You know, I'm hitting the buttons. Go. F it's just it's not doing anything. There's something not quite right about that. I I'm sure it's all my fault. I'll be honest with you. Uh, can we click on this and make it go down? Can we, oh, oh, does the rod go in now? The rod is sideways. Yeah, that's not what I wanted at all. Why does this rod go sideways? That's so weird. 
Let me get rid of it. I, I'm like, I swear there needs to be a rod here in this piston. I swear it's a thing, but it's, it's just not happening. And it wants to go in there sideways. I don't understand why. Why are you doing like this? Uh, worst comes to worst, if I can't get this piston to work, which seems to be the case, uh, we can try using the large piston instead, which I think I'll just start doing right now because for some reason it's just not working out for me. There we go. Lar oh my god, this thing is huge. It's ginormous. That's okay. We'll, we'll have to live with it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, stretch it up. Like so. I think you can go up one more, can't you? There you go. And now we, we have the same functionality we're looking for, essentially. Uh, let's go ahead and put another block on this. Uh, do, 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 regular, just regular block. Basic light block. There we go. And this one's going to be uh, left and right, essentially. So uh, go to this thing here. We're going to want a J and K. A J and L, rather. So this one's going to be going left. This is going to be servo motor. This servo motor. I don't know which one. What other servo motor do I even have? I should only have one, I think. This one right here. Servo, uh, it's listed as servo motor too. I didn't even know I had another one. If I do, I don't even know where it is. Uh, let me see. We're going to want going forward to be L, actually. Um. We're going to have that be reversed, actually. There we go. And uh, this is going to be go forward. There we go. Let's test that really quick. Yeah, that, that moves like we want. Uh, unfortunately, this is starting going up, which is not what we want. But, you know, progress is being made. Let's go to controls here. Controls. There we go. Uh, let's see. Right-hand controls. Uh, forward and reverse for our large piston here. We're going to call this one uh, move out. And K is going to be move in. And we're going to have to go to controls on here. Controls for the large piston. Uh, it's probably want it to go sort of slow. And I don't want start on on. And I also don't want it to return to origin. All right, let's see if this works. I put my head back on here at some point. That works fine. I just want it to go a little slower, honestly. But it essentially does what I'm looking for. So I'm happy about that. Let's turn the acceleration time way down. Like 0 0.05 or something. Max velocity, 0 0.5. Basically, I just want it really low so I can control it really well. All right, so we have that going. We just basically, now we want to put another piston coming out here to go forward so we can, uh, you know, reach things, essentially extend our reach. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to parts, uh, powered. Can I get a small piston to work? It'd be nice if I can get a small piston to work. You know, just like by and by, that'd be nice. Uh, let's extend it out here. Something like this should be fine, I think. That should give us enough reach. And uh, let's throw a uh, thingy on it. Uh, let's go to effectors. Yeah, effectors is actually what I was looking for. We'll throw one of these thingies on there. We'll uh, flip it around. There we go. And I guess I could I could have that almost be the same key as that. I'm not going to, but uh, maybe we could have. It's one of those things. All right, we're going to make this O for powered pincer. Just uh, toggle. There we go. That'll work. So U to do the vacuum and O to toggle the pincer. We have that figured out. And uh, what else? You know what? We're gonna put uh, we gotta put our head back on here. Let me get out of the properties here. Go to translate. Let's move our head on top of this thing here. It'll it'll look almost normal, ish, kind of sorta. Let's go like that. There we go. So it's, it's almost like he, he's just a normal guy with his head out, his hand out, but he only has one hand and it comes out of his neck. Otherwise, he's complete. Oh, oh, what was that about? Why, why did you fall out, buddy? Do I have to put you down one? Why is his head not staying there? His head just, like, came out. It was really weird. You know, let's, let's, let's maybe put a thing in the back for his head or something. I don't know. I felt really weird that his head is popping out. Makes me feel a little bad. 
Let's do something like that. Move his head back here. Yeah, it's just like, let's let's not have your head fall out again. I, I wasn't a big fan of that. Oh, undo what I just did. I just want you to move, buddy. Just you. Yeah, I'll put you back there. Will your head stay? Here, his head is not staying. We have done something hard. Now this thing's falling apart. What did I do? I've, like, broken everything. All right. All right. Now that kind of works. His head is still falling out, though, which is really weird. Um, I don't know how we can get his head to not be falling out. I might just move his head for simplicity's sake, but uh, I'm <laughs> kind of disappointed that his head is just, like, weirdly falling off. Let's put his head down here. At least it was sticking on this thing down here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it, like, right there. Will he stay? No, his head is just, like, falling, like, flat out. Will he stay there? I don't know. What is the deal with this? Let's try, like, deleting it and putting it back. I'm wondering if maybe the, the game is just a little bit buggy. You know, it is uh, it is closed alpha, which means, you know, there's going to be bugs. It's going to happen. Let's go to cosmetics here. See if we can put our head back on, like, from here, and that would be okay. Actually, I think it's in uh, constructs, the heads. There we go. Let's put the same one back on. I really like this head. I thought it was really cool. Uh, let's turn it around like that. Put the little hat on him. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, here it looks like it's lining up properly and everything. I don't know why it wouldn't have been before. We got another thing here. What did we get? A receiver or microcontroller makes your robot look more robot-like. All right, fair enough. I'll put the same hat on this guy because him as a sergeant just, you know, felt good. All right, let's see how this works. All right, he, he stays on now, so that's good. I kind of wanted it up here so it, you know, would look a little bit less weird, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and go to controls here. This one's starting out, which is not what I was looking for. And we're going to want the acceleration really low on this as well. So like 0 0.05, I think. Something like that. Max velocity, 0 0.5. There we go. Uh, let's just see how that goes. You going out like I want? That was the wrong one. That goes a little bit too fast for me, actually. Uh, do we have a key for this thing to go in and out? This does, this does, this operates with U and O for some reason, which is not what I was looking for. Let's go back up here. Right hand controls. All right, we're using all of our right hand controls, uh, which is kind of problematic. We're going to have to move some over to the left hand, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go to U, main action. I don't. I don't really want you to operate the pincer. Um, yeah, I just, just I was just looking for you to operate the vacuum. There we go. And now this one will still operate the uh, pincer like I want. Let's go to right hand controls, and I'm gonna have to have this one operate the arm going in and out. I think. Um, I can have this one operate the arm. Maybe going side to side would be more intuitive. I don't know. It's like, it just doesn't feel right. Let's go ahead and get this thing. Uh, controls. I was already in controls. E. Servo motor 2. Uh, spin forward is going to be E. And our Q is going to be spin reverse. There we go. Now let's go back to the right controls and I'll unbind those. So this was uh, J and L. I believe. So we're going to want to unbind that from this. And you're going to be the uh, small piston now. And this is going to be move out. And L is going to be small piston move in. All right. I think I have things figured out. Let's go ahead and save this before I forget. We're going to call this Sergeant Coffee. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. Sergeant Coffee. There we go. All right, let's actually see if we can do things now. I feel like we've been building for a long time here. All right, let me see the controls here. We can. Oh man, I, I meant to uh, change the speed on that servo. Servo motor two. I need you to go slower, man. Acceleration time, 0 0.05. There we go. Max RPM really low, like five or something. Ten. I don't know. We'll leave it at that. Uh, start on. Why would I want it to start on? That seems bad. Uh, all right, let's try that. 
Save it again, Sergeant Coffee. Yep, yep, overwrite, that's fine. All right, let's, get out. let's try it again. Yeah, that's exactly what I want for that one. All right, now the right hand control, go up, go down. What's it? Uh, this one should extend and retract. And this should turn on the vacuum. It's still controlling the arm. Why are you still controlling the arm? Uh, right hand control, main action, powered pincer. Turn that off. I don't want you to control that. I don't, I don't, I don't know why it was doing that. Let's save it again. I mean, uh, I, I remember turning that off so that didn't happen. All right. Well, it's working now. All right. U does the vacuum. O does the pincer. I think, I think we have everything set up the way we need it. So let's go ahead and uh, start moving ourselves around here. Let me move this uh, chair out the way here. Let me go slow because you break things, you get in trouble. You lose points and stuff. Can I grab this? Hit it with the O. I didn't grab it. All right, let's try it again. Am I not grabbing it officially? Oh, I wasn't touching it yet. All right, let me move this chair out the way. A little problematic. There we go. What are these guys are like him and a hong a whole lot here? Is that my imagination or is it just like going him and ha like constantly here? All right, let's clean up this spill over here because we know we want to get points for that. There we go. It's one spill cleaned up. That was pretty easy. Let's go get the other spill cleaned up real quick. And then we'll go get the coffee for the guy upstairs. I don't think we need to worry about these things here so much, the uh, traffic cones here. I oh, Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can get this guy his popcorn. We haven't even tried that yet. So let me, let me raise the arm up here. And we'll see how close we can get to this thing. Hopefully we don't break the glass. The plan is to hopefully not even touch the glass. Let's see if I can grab this thing without breaking anything. Hope we can grab it like there-ish. I couldn't tell how close we are. All right, let's do it from like right here. I grabbed it. This is kind of doing something. Are we, are we going to... Uh, this is not working like I was hoping. What if I like push out and back in? That's not that's not doing good things. This is doing dangerous things. Oh, there we go. We got it. All right, let me let that. I don't think I can grab that low. I can't grab that low. How would I do this? Like the only way I can think to do this is if I like tip myself over. Yeah, I can't. I can't grab that low. I need to add more functionality. All right, what would I have to do to make sure I could actually grab that low? If I added a hinge down here at the bottom, I could do that. I don't even have enough controls to do everything I'm trying to do here. I guess I could get rid of my ability to go side to side uh, from, you know, from right here and just use my wheels. And I could add a hinge down here so I can lean forward. Oh, my God. This is more complicated than I ever thought it was going to be. But all right, let's get rid of the servo motor because I don't need it, need it. I mean, it's nice, but I don't need it. So let's get rid of that, which means I can get rid of that. And I can bring this whole thing down, essentially, I think. Does that work? Like, does that still work? Does, like, am I still able to uh, go in and out? Yeah, okay, that works. All right, so that works. Now we're going to want to lift this whole assembly up. So we click there, there, and there, move it up. And I'm going to want to put a hinge under the here, essentially, and place all that on top of it. This this uh, this thing got more complicated than I ever thought it was going to go. Uh, power joints. Uh, hinge is really what I'm looking, I think. Yeah, that's basically what I want, is right here. Just like that. And we have to add in how we want this to move. But I think that's exactly what we want, so I think it'll work. Uh, let's go into controls, and uh, I think we're gonna have to use the left and uh, left and right essentially, right? Um, main action. I think I'm gonna have this do the hinge. Uh, which one is that? I don't know. Which one is this? Servo motor two. Okay, we're gonna have this. Obviously, go forward would be essentially go forward, so that's fine. So we're gonna have that be here i, I kind of have that backwards actually let's have this one servo motor two have that be going forward so that the uh, q goes forward 
and main action will go reverse. There we go. And let's go into the controls for this one. We're going to have to turn this one down as well. Put it back down to 10 like we had before. Acceleration time 0 0.1 or something. Uh, let's see how that works. Hopefully. All right. So, yeah, that's controllable. Yeah, I think I think we can do stuff with this. And now, can I reach out? Now I'll be able to grab the uh, the popcorn. Okay, so we, we have a fully functioning machine now. If we can't do it with this, I don't know. We, we were, it wasn't meant to be if we can't do it with this. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's try to do the, the popcorn thing first. I'm a little worried I'm going to, like, break stuff over here. So I want to be careful. Let's see if we can grab this and just hopefully not kill anyone. I'd like to avoid that if I could. Uh, let's grab higher up on the... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, I and K is controlling both things, which is not what I want at all. Uh, okay, we're going to have to fix that. Right hand. I do not control servo motor. K do not control servo motor. I never set this. They kind of decided it for me, apparently. Let's go ahead and rewrite Sergeant Coffee over here. There we go. Hopefully it'll work right now. Let's try it again. Does I and K still do that? No, okay. I still have... Good. Now I actually have the control that I was looking for to begin with. Uh, I'm not happy that they, like, auto-bound that, but, you know, stuff happens. Watch out, buddy. I'm going to get your popcorn for you. It's going to happen. We got this under control. Let's go up here slowly so I don't break the glass. Let's raise it up a little higher here. And now we can actually, like, tip things back and forth with our hinge, so it might actually work out better. All right, let's hit it with a O here. Am I grabbing? I'm not grabbing. Go a little bit closer then. Uh, we have to lean forward. There we go. Hit O. And now... Alright, I'm trying to use my piston to move it right now. And we just don't have the power in our piston. Mm -hmm. So I can go back and forth like this though. And this is what worked last time. There we go. Let's let go. Bring our arm down. Good. Alright, let's see if I can lean it forward so we can grab this thing. Uh, let me see. Forward was... I'm confused. There we go. That's the button. That's the button. All right. Let's see if we can extend our arm out now to grab it. All right. We can move forward a little bit. That's okay. Popcorn. Oh. Do I have it? I have the popcorn. All right. Let me lean back a little bit. And just like... Can he take that from me? Yeah! We did it! He has his popcorn! And he's so happy. He looked so sad before, but now he's happy. I'm glad we could help him out. There we go. So he's happy. He's got his popcorn. Let's clean up this coffee mess over here because, uh, you know, it's a mess. There we go. Clean this up. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Let's get the uh, this guy over here his coffee. We haven't even done that yet. We've been, like, doing everything else. Let me see. Let's raise this up a little bit. All right. Go forward a little bit. Maybe drop that a little bit. All right, let's put our arm out. See if we get a good view of this. All right, we have to drop a little bit more. Around there-ish. Oh, going the wrong way. Something like that, maybe? I think that's good. All right, let's grab it. We have a good grab. Um, let me lift up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Let's go fill it up. Hopefully this isn't too difficult. Go slow. There we go. We got the, we got the coffee filled up. All right, let's drive very slow. I'm using shifts so we don't make too much of a mess over here. Bring it in. All right, I'm gonna drive around with shift down so we don't accidentally spill it. I feel like that's a definite thing that would happen to us. All right, let's drive it over. Slow and steady, and then we'll clean up this coffee over here as well. I forgot about that. But hopefully this guy will be happy with the coffee we're bringing him. There we go. He seems excited. He's like, yep, yeah, we're going to get coffee. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can lower it down now. Okay. All right, still not low enough, but that's okay. Let's extend our arm out. There we go. We'll lean forward a little bit. Uh, let's see, with this button over here, the uh, Q button. Now we'll hit O. And we'll hit L to bring our arm back. There we go. We did it. But we're not done yet. We got lots more stuff we want to do. Let me see if I can go slow here. I don't want to knock things over. Let's suck up all the coffee here. There we go. We cleaned up the coffee. 
we're doing good here. Let's back up without making a mess. I imagine if we hit the table and knock things over, it'd, be, it'd go kind of bad. All right, let's go upstairs and make sure we clean a route for us to get through with a cup of coffee. Because we still have to go up there and uh, and uh, deliver coffee. And we're not going to be able to do that when we have our hands full. Ooh, a little jump there. That little jump might get us in trouble. All right, let's see if we can grab this thing here. Get a good view of it here. All right, come on. It's slow and steady. There we go. We got a good grab on it. Am I too high? I'm a little too high. Let's, uh, I can't really go lower, so my only solution to that is to do something like that. Let me grab that one. There we go. All right, this is, we don't need to move it too far. Ooh, I almost broke the art. Definitely don't want to do that. All right, I think that's far enough. We can drop that one right there. There we go. Slow and steady. I'm going to hold down shift so that I don't knock everything in the universe over here. And I think I'm going to take the left path here. It seems slightly less treacherous. So we'll give that a go. See if we can grab this one right here. Maybe we can lean forward a little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Let's slowly grab it. Hopefully don't break anything. Hit O. There we go. Just move it slightly to the right here. It doesn't have to go very far. Just far enough so... Uh, we can walk through here. I think that's good enough. Yeah, we don't have to do anything crazy with that. All right, I think we clear up a space for us to get through here. Now we just have to be careful not to, uh, you know, make a mess on the way down to go get our stuff. And then, of course, on the way back. All right, we're doing good. I was only brave enough to do that because it was a straightaway. All right, let's go slowly. Let me lean back a little bit so we don't accidentally slip forward here. That'd be horrible if I just flipped over and we couldn't ride ourselves. Ooh. All right, go slow. Go slow. I don't want to flip over. We, this Our uh, arm mechanism may work as a self-riding mechanism, but I haven't tried it. And we have this challenge like almost entirely completed, so I don't want to mess with it now. That seems like it'd be a bad idea. And we still have the muffin we have to get down here. I forgot about that. We have, so I don't even know who wants the muffin. Is it that guy who wants the muffin? See, it says coffee zone. I don't see a muffin zone. Someone here wants a muffin. I'm guessing it's a guy at the table. I can't know for sure. Let's go slow. We don't want to break the caution tape. We don't want to hurt anyone and lose points. Let's just go slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Yep. I wonder if there's anything in there. Like, can we open up those cabinets and see anything? I'm kind of curious now. I'm kind of curious if we can open up the fridge now, I'm being honest. We'll try that after. I don't want to ruin my run with my curiosities. We're, uh, we're doing good things here. All right, can we can we grab that? Let's extend the arm a little bit. Right, is that a good grab? All right, we have to, we have to. Uh, there we go. We're a little bit off. We got it now. All right, let's see if we can get this thing all filled up. Come on, line it up. There we go. All right, we have to extend a little bit. There we're filled up. All right, let's bring it back. And now we just have to drive very slowly and get this upstairs. And I'm worried about that, you know, uh, at the end of the ramp, we always do like a little jump and it makes a, a big bump. I'm a little worried we'll end up spilling some coffee. I don't know how violent you have to be to spill coffee in this challenge. You know, I haven't tried it, but I have a feeling it's going to happen unless we are very careful. So we're going to see what we can do here. But first, we have to get the coffee up to the engineer guy up there, construction worker. I guess he's officially a construction worker. Let's use his official title here. I, I absolutely love this little guy in front. He's just awesome. I like that guy. All right. We're not spilling coffee. I think we would be under real-life circumstances here, but we're not, so I'll, I'll take it. Let's see if we can take this at a diagonal, if at all possible, so that we don't flop over here. There we go. That actually went surprisingly smooth. So it, it seems like uh, going at a diagonal is definitely the way to go there. I know every time I took it straight on, we just flopped around really hard. So I was kind of hoping we could just take it nice and smooth with a diagonal there. Keep more points on the ground as long as possible, essentially. All right, we're getting through this. We're almost there. It, looks, it feels like we're in a home stretch. I feel like we're doing good. 
I'm not gonna, uh, like part of me just wants to speed through this now. It's like, we're on a straightaway, just go really fast. But no, I'm gonna fight it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna make a giant mess and be upset with myself afterwards. I don't wanna have to try to do this again. This is taking a lot of preparation, a lot of effort to get this to work out right. All right, let me put this in front of the guy here. This dude's sleeping, sleeping on a job. All right, let's see if we can slowly tip it forward. There we go. Can I let go right there? Is that okay? And back up slowly. There we go. You gonna wake up, buddy? His eyes are open now. I don't know if they were before, but his head was nodding like he was sleeping. All right, so we officially completed everything we need to do. We have one last little challenge I wanna try to do, and that's to get this muffin to the muffin man, apparently. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know who actually needs this muffin. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't actually say. It just says, bring the cupcake to the human downstairs. Which human? I don't know. But there's a human that needs this cupcake and I shall bring it to them. That is my mission in life. I am the cupcake delivery man. All right, do we have a, I think we have a good grip on it. Do we? Okay, we do. All right, let me lean back a little bit. Bring our arm back in. There we go. We're in prime uh, cupcake delivery position. I, don't, I still don't know he, who needs this muffin. I'm going a little bit faster now because we're in a straightaway here and I'm not carrying coffee. Through here, I'm going to go slow because uh, if you break the art, I get the impression that's bad. Uh, breaking things in this game usually goes bad. They get mad at you. And then they'll push their little button to get you shut down. It's like an emergency shutdown device just in case we uh, gain sentience and try to take over the world. I'm still interested in how we get in there. I honestly don't know. I'm kind of curious if we can like grab that door and lift it up or something. If that would function, I really don't know. All right, let's go down. I still don't know who gets the muffin. It's just, it just says to deliver it to the human downstairs. There's like four humans down here. I'm, I'm going to try the guy at the, at the uh, table first that we delivered coffee to. We're going to see how that goes. There we go. All right, you know, you want it over here, buddy? Oh, the game like, st game like just like froze on me for a minute there. All right, let's go slow. See if this guy wants the muffin. Do you like muffins? Are you the muffin man? All right. Oh, we got it. Bring the cupcake to the guy down. I didn't even have to drop it. We can keep this muffin if we wanted. I'm going to be nice and let him have it. I'm just saying, if we wanted, we could keep that. All right, there we go. Um... That's we did pretty good. I'm actually really happy with this. We have four. We have three secrets that we've done. Um, we have to get to the guy upstairs uh, through the security thing, the security guy there, and I don't even know how to get to him. You know what? I am happy with this. Let's just take a win when they're giving it to us. Hit complete here. There we go. What do we call this one? Oh yeah, Sergeant Coffee. <laughs> Let's see if I can just spell coffee right. There we go. Sergeant Coffee. I like this one. I like this robot a lot. I mean, this little head here is cute. We have a lot of, you know, things we can do. We can even vacuum. We can even be a janitor robot if that's what we so wish. So there we go. We're shipping it. It is a complete success. And we only have two more secrets we have to do. One of them we know. We have to deliver the coffee to the guy who's in the security room. We have to figure out how to handle stairs for that to happen. And that seems complicated. And I still think the wrench is a thing that we took from the, uh, that we knocked off the ladder. I just don't know who we would give it to. The only thing I can think is a security guy. We just haven't tried it, so I don't know. Anyway, guys, this game is RoboCo. If you guys are interested, I have a link down in the description. It's not out yet, but you can wish list it and maybe sign up for betas if you guys want to give it a try for yourself. If you guys are new to this channel, it's what I do. I play any games every single day on the internet for your enjoyment. So if you're into games like this, vehicle engineering games or base building automation games, or tower defense games, so it's kind of like the niche that I stick to, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when I put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.